Welcome to Event Log, the place to find the events, people and fossils that have shaped the world of paleoanthropology. This is the second fossil shout-out of the series. Today's fossil is codenamed KT12 forward slash H1. This partial jaw was lifted from a gravel desert surface along what was once the shores of Lake Mega Chad, Koro Toro, Chad, North Africa. It was found at 8.45am local time on the 23rd of January 1995 by a French Chadian team of fossil prospectors led by Michel Brunet, French paleoanthropologist. The fossil, nicknamed Abel, was found in the vicinity of layers which were dated to between 3 and 3.5 million years of age. The teeth of KT12 forward slash H1 were isotopically analysed, producing results that suggested this hominin ate many C4 sedges with associated root tubers. Sedges such as cypress, which still grow around the shores of a much smaller Lake Chad today, may have been on this hominin's menu over three million years ago. So how does this fossil relate to other hominins of its time? The French team simply concluded that the new species is more derived than Preanthropus afarensis. Preanthropus was first proposed in 1955 as a new genus by Musafer Senjuric, Turkish paleoanthropologist, to classify the Lytoli maxilla found by Ludwig Köln Larsen, physician, Nazi party member and amateur paleontologist in 1939. It was not until 1978 that Afarensis was introduced by Donald Johansson, American paleoanthropologist. The Lytoli maxilla is considered an Australopithecus afarensis and is thus the earliest found afarensis fossil many decades before AL 281. Though the derived features of KT12 forward slash H1 were what spurred a new species name, today the majority of paleoanthropologists are quite happy to consider the fossil a member of Australopithecus afarensis, though two and a half thousand kilometres from Ethiopia, the heartland of that species. The animals that lived in eastern Africa and Koro Toro were of the same variety, and so this showed faunal exchanges had taken place between those two areas, and by extension lends credence to KT12 forward slash H1 being Australopithecus afarensis.